Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf came... I thought all the dark elves were... Here? Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... That's the right question. Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. <sighs> is right there. Yeah, but there was a Nornier chest down here last time. <laughs> oh, guess they moved it. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied? Of course she did! <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy! <laughs> 
So then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another Perhaps way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs>
Quickly now, before more arrive. Far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf... ...and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! 
No! Betray us! Hold on! Over here! Your chase! Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Dark Elf Assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting him. Can't they just leave us alone? We need to get out of here. Through here. Ah! <laughs> 
we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Tear, we... Open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. 
Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Oh, I gotta remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about... myself. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated Gulon. What's <laughs> unusual? Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? So much sand. I don't think we're getting through that gate in this storm. Is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one and see where it takes us. Ah! Look, there's a cave entrance.
cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. <laughs> about the Dark Elves. I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alpha, can we really blame them?
patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. animals or enchanted rings or whatever much has changed for both of us well yeah i'm just trying to figure out why you've helped some random animal is this not what you want no no it, it is i'm just surprised it's what you want too Stop! 
to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad who until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves i just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't
Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alpha, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. the largest bloody half you I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lund. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, 
The last good thingy we saw was dinner, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful workplace. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, and I'll be winners. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Half gifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Let us free it. We can cut the half Koopa loose here. <laughs> it flies? Of course it flies. It's a half Koopa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Mir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. 
Let's see. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. <laughs> and there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before <laughs> his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. Enough. We will continue later. <laughs> Your axe is due for some attention. Boy, I'm glad this axe is in your hands. Heat up the forge. Have we more to talk about? Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. Tears had enough time to find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Mm. Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. <laughs> Forgive me. It's funny. Dress. Eat. Careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. 
We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I'm counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... You... Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. I wish I had known I was a god in Elfheim. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate. That was our only way to Yonan. 
What do you want? Let's go, Duma! I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey, don't run off. Whatever. Can you tell me where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Uh. This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Am I?